right, so we are back in Ruby on Rails. Um, you can see that some of these are locked. Apparently, Coach Academy is doing some sort of um, Coach Academy Pro thing, but it's not active yet. So, like, all those, uh, some of these labs will look familiar. Um, they look like they're going to be updated versions of the uh, Make a Website project. So, uh, you won't be able to find those anymore as well. All right, so uh, let's see how you incorporate database by building a Rails app for create a new Rails app, name Messenger app using Rails. So we're just going to say Rails, new, and then we're going to say Messenger app. So that's going to create everything. Cool. So next we want to install the gem files. Install. Install the gems and gem files. So install. Let's see here. Gem file. Oh, install gem file. So let's see here. I'm not quite sure what they mean by gem file. So maybe there's a folder somewhere in here. No, it doesn't look like. Hmm. So let's just go ahead and check these folders real quick. Okay, so I'm not quite sure, but we see right here create gem file. So we want to install. It's so we already tried this. I don't know. I'm trying this again. So install gem file. No. Hmm. So it creates the gem file. So let's go to our local host. Local host colon eight thousand slash welcome. Uh, don't have any routes to find, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure what that means, install the gems in a gem file. So apparently what we needed to do was actually enter in bundle install. Bundle install will install everything. So this is our bundle. And when we go to install, it's going to install it here. And then we want to run the local server. And you can see right here, it's good to go. Cool. So again, that was bundle space installed to move on. And the terminal generate a new model name message. So now we're going to generate in Rails. We want to generate a model named message. Cool. Open the DB. So let's see here. We have db migrate from the messages table uh, the name of the migration file starts at the time stuff when it was created so add this to line 4 so here, here we are in line 4 and we want to say t dot text space colon content so let's go ahead and run that cool so it looks like this might print out a table of messages if I understand it correctly. And then in the terminal, we want to run here. We want to say rake our database and migrate it. So let's go ahead and enter that. And then we want to, so this created the tables for messages here. 
Don't you want to rake DB? Call in the seed. Uh, make sure you put a space in there. And then we'll, we'll run that. And cool. Seems everything seems to be working. Alright, so we want to generate a controller. Alright, so we're going to say Rails. And then the generate command. And we want, what are we generating? A controller. And what are we naming it? Messages. I think I nailed that. Good. So in the routes, cr oops. In the routes file, so, uh, that maps to, alright, so let's go to routes. Uh, is there not a routes? Let's see, let's go back. So in the routes file, create a route that maps the URL slash messages to the messenger's controller index. So, No, that's not it. That doesn't look like it either. Well, that's Rails, Town, Session, Slayer, Snow. Right table, create a right DB. Right, so app controllers. Says, hmm. Just pause the video real quick while I try and so figure after out doing strenuous <laughs> research. I don't know how they ever expect us ever to get there, but we have to open up route start RB, which is nowhere in here. Like it, it's it's under app and then config and then right here. So a little bit of a bitch move not kind of giving us a, uh, a path. But you can see right here, just go ahead and put this. And what we're doing is saying when we're at messages, go to messages index. I believe that's what's going on. To the messenger's controller index to get the data. And then we want to add the def index. So let's, let's go ahead and open that up. So that was app, controllers. Which one was it? Messages under, underscore controllers RB. So app. Controller. Open this up, and then here we're saying for this class to find this and do message dot all. So let's just go ahead and move on. But so far, this isn't a very intuitive course. Open the app view slash message index html dot larb. So let's see. We have app and views. We have messages. All right, so we open this up. Under line 11, type the contents of this. So let's just go ahead and put that in there. So add messages for each one, do the message. Here's our class, the content created at. So I mean, you can kind of look at that and get an idea of what's going on here. Let's go ahead and run that. Cool, and let's see what's going on. If we go to our local host, this is what's going on right now in our Rails app. So, so far you've been loading messages from the database and displaying them in the view. How can we create new messages and save them to the database? Looking at the seven standard Rails actions, we need to use the new and create. In the routes file, create a route that maps requests to messages slash new. All right, so uh, let's try and remember where we found that. That was app config and then routes and instead of going to the index we want it to go to messages slash new let's see if this works
so the length at what it's going. So maybe I, I should have kept the hashtag. Let's try that one more time. So it looks like maybe it worked. No? Okay, so after extensive research again and a quick break to watch the new Warcraft trailer, I figured out what it is they're asking us to do. Um, so I tested around a little bit. Forget this real quick test it around a little bit and what we actually need to do so we're I was kinda in the right direction is we need to actually just add this to our code as well so that it does something I'm not quite sure what it does um, apparently it's supposed to route it differently so um, in the index action add the new action so let's see here I'm gonna say right here so now we're saying what are we doing for new so okay maybe this would make a little more sense so Index is kind of the default page for the app, and now within there, we're going to say, like, look, check out new as well. So let's see if that's correct. Below, oh, oops. So obviously, you can't put one function into the other, and so that should fix that. Cool. So, in the routes file, we also want to add the post messages, messages pound create to it. So, let's go ahead and add this as well. Let's go ahead and run it. Alright, so, what did we just do? It looks like we added a method post here so that it will post the messages from the crate tab if I create crate controller if I if I understand correctly so in the messages controller we're gonna add a private method so it looks like we have call say private message parameters parameters require a message and content so uh, and permits content whatever content is content might just be strings at this point I'm not quite sure so, between the new action and the private method, add the create action. So, between the new action and the private action. Alright, so, um, do we not? Let's see. Let's see if we, uh, if I, if I read this correctly, I think we want create to be private as well. But that wouldn't make sense, because we want a user, yeah. Nope. Uh because users wouldn't have access to this method and so thus it needs to be public because it'll be users that are adding new content if we think about it logically here cool and then in the apps views messages so let's go ahead and pull that up so we're gonna go to app views messages I believe it was the index nope it was new so, app, views, messages, new. So this is our new one right here. And in here, we want to type for our form. Let's see if we can read over this and kind of guess. So for the form that takes in a message, do each portion of it. So for each message, f.label message to declare the message in the area to declare the content cool so when we run that very cool let's go ahead and refresh this see if anything's changed no so finally in the apps you use them in all right so now we knew now we do need the index so we're gonna go to app views messages index we are going to add this script tag that says link to this new message and for the URL, hard URL path, of, uh, or soft URL path messages slash new. Relative URL path, there we go. And we want to put this here. 
So let's go ahead and run that. Get our check mark. Cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Move on to the next section. So nicely done. Um, so what what do we do? We got a HTTP, HTTP GET request for you for messages slash new. So get any new messages. This is kind of what's going on here. Create a message object at message and pass it to be viewed in the new HTML. In the form four, creates a form and at message object browser sends HTTP post requests. So um, one of the things about uh, web development is you're going to get very familiar with um, the response cycle of a server, and that uh, that goes that goes. Even though I'm not fully understanding the Rails framework, because I I think they're kind of just I f I feel like they had some guy throw this together in four in the four hours. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they need someone uh, to make a more extensive. Uh, class, but maybe I just don't uh, relate to Rails. But um, just kind of understand that sometimes you're sending out a response saying this is what you need, and sometimes you're getting a request saying I need this data for my page so I can display things properly and have a dynamic site. So uh, up next is associations one. Let's see, is that right? Um, let's go back to our page here. But um, again, um, we're not going to be able to do the Broadway Bolt Network and Innovation Cloud because they have decided to do a pro version. But of course, we'll do all the free stuff and eventually probably we'll get the pro. Um, but as always, thanks you, thank you for watching and constructive criticism is always appreciated. I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching the video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. That'd be great. And leave me a comment letting me know what you liked about the video and what you didn't like about the video. See you next time.